Today's word of the day is banshee. It's a great word. It comes to us from Gaelic. And, you know, I'm always saying that, that vocabulary and words, they give us an insight into culture, into history. Now, banshee comes from the Gaelic banshid. <laughs> um, I have no idea if that's correct Gaelic pronunciation or not. Probably not, but um, banshid means lady or woman of the fairy tale land. Like basically fairy woman, fairy person, Banshee. And and I think this this tells us something about about the the traditional stories in in Gaelic culture. So a, a Banshee, this fairy woman, she was a little like a little pixie thing. And if you saw her combing her, her hair, if you saw her combing her hair, or if you heard her singing, or, or well, apparently it wasn't so much singing, it was more like wailing. <laughs> like this. If you, so if you saw her combing her hair or, or wailing, then it meant that someone in your family was going to die. <laughs> wow, isn't that a nice story for the for the kids? A nice bedtime story for the kids. Look, look, kids, it's a banshee. Mummy's going to die tonight. <laughs> so, in, in English, when we took this word, we 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 mainly we use it in a phrase, a set phrase, which is to scream like a banshee or to wail like a banshee. So imagine you're, I don't know, you're talking about a football game. You played a football game with your friends and your friend, he, 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 he twisted his ankle and it was so painful that he was screaming like a banshee. That's what you would say because, you know, the banshees would scream and then someone would die. <laughs> so it's a great word. So I really hope that you have no reason to scream like a banshee this weekend. I, I, I really do. Now, yesterday I talked a little bit about French, right? About French because I was talking about um, <laughs> in, in the word of the day yesterday. Um, and, and I just want to clarify that I love French. You know, the French language. I learned French for uh, five years at high school. Um, and so anyway, I, I, I discovered yesterday on, on this website that someone was asking, uh, someone asked a question, can someone please explain French? And the answers are really funny. So the first, the first answer is, French is, you have 11 letters and you pronounce only four of them. <laughs> or what about this? Learn to speak Spanish and then learn to speak Italian. And then you subtract Spanish from Italian and you have French. <laughs> or what about this? So cover, cover the second half of the word and then squint and then only pronounce the vowels that you think you see. <laughs> and I, I think that sometimes French and English are similar in this way because, um, because you know, we have a lot of silent letters, things you don't um, pronounce. And I found also, this is, this is really good, I found this list of difficult French words to pronounce. So I'm going to try them. Okay, I'm going to try them to show to show how much of, a, of, a, of an international language expert I am. So the first one is The second one is the me. The next one is Oh man, it's like gymnastics for your face. Uh, kink, 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 
<laughs> and finally, <gasps> I think it's just, <gasps> but I'm not sure. And then of course they have an example sentence, um, which I think, which I think is gonna, I'm gonna read it perfectly. Okay, here we go. So, uh, bien que son et dans la quincaille de pebouchon à ses menus. Le joie et le bijou vermeil croyant, c'est le chemin quelque bien vert. Perfect. <laughs> My pronunciation was just. Right now, everybody watching this is saying, "Man, I didn't realize that Christian spoke such good French. Was he, was he born in Paris or something?" Maybe did he spend, did he spend like 20 years in Paris? How can his French pronunciation be so good? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, that's it for word of the day. Don't scream like a banshee. Practice your French and I'll see you in class on Monday. Bye.